senior at Collinsville High School in Oklahoma. He's won on this stage a couple of times. And these two have opposing styles. They've met in the past and gone back and forth. Williams got the last win at Junior Duels. So we're underway now. Williams in the blue. Look for the Iceman. Hit some ducks. He's elusive. Scramble early on the attack by Williams. Rachi in the red. Just stays down on a leg. So Rachi, good job scrambling with a guy like Williams. Very high pace. Gets a stalemate out of that. Jordan Williams, you see that footwork. He is... He's a unique style. You don't wrestle a lot of guys with the kind of offense that he has, that have the feel that he does. And, uh, you know, very, very opposite, really, of Rachi, who just pushes the pace, comes forward. You see him with a hard underhook there. So no scores yet. Somebody has to they have to start handing out these passivity warnings. First passivity goes against Williams. Iowa has climbed into third place. They got 98. They're going to try to overtake Pennsylvania by the time these uh, finals are over. Illinois may have separated themselves with uh, or clinched it with the Nasir Bailey win. They have 124 points. So we'll keep you updated as we go. In the meantime, we've got 145 pound final to get through as well as the rest of the weights. Rachi now warned for passivity. These guys had really brutal gauntlets to get through to make it to this final. Williams beat Matt Bianchi in the semis. He teched Jackson Arrington in the quarters. Those were some insane matches. Counterattack after Williams shot by Rachi. He's in on a single. Good defense by Williams. We get a stalemate back up to their feet. One minute, 19 seconds to go. Rachi teched Nico Ruiz in the semis. Beat Richard Fedelin, who's Really tough ranked opponent in the quarterfinals. So both these guys, no easy path to make it this far. So Williams goes on the board first. I mean, you could just draw a name out of a hat over who should go on the clock. Both guys were attacking, uh, but someone does have to go on the clock. You cannot end the first period without a uh, passivity clock. And they're taking a shot as Rachi. He doesn't want to wait for those 30 seconds to end. Good sprawl by Williams, great flexibility. Now he's got a lock around the clot, uh, crotch, trying to get a roll. Gets a little bit out of position, and I think we're going to get another stalemate. Normally, when you're the attacking guy, a stalemate, you're a little bit disappointed. In this case, the stalemate ends up, the, the shot clock runs out, point goes on the board. So Yeah, time on the side of Rachi in that instance. Good call, David. He picks up the first point. 30 seconds to go here in the first period. On another leg, Rachi, he's in a little bit better position this time as Williams stepping up in the air. Hopping on one leg towards the boundary and he'll just get a single point. So that's a good short time score, 18 seconds still. Plenty of time for a guy like Jordan Williams. Rachi got a great angle on that attack. That really, really helped him out. That first shot a little more straight on and you saw that defense of Williams. So making the pace. most of those ties, Rachi reaching again for a leg. Williams shoots in, but time expires in the first period. We'll go to the break. These guys such familiar opponents, and a lot of different things could happen in this one. We saw in the semifinal yesterday, Jordan Williams hit one of the nastiest duck unders of the entire tournament. He's he's done some of those before. He really has, and you know. Rachi, of course, going to be aware of that, but also moves forward a lot and potentially has an opening. But I'm excited for the second period. 2-0 for Rachi. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't sleep or uh, get too comfortable, Jordan Williams, as he fires off a low-level shot. Comes around. Oh, he could barely see it, but Rachi has a leg there. You can see it better on the monitor, better angle with the camera. Williams looked like he finished clean, but good job, Rachi, holding on. Switch to the other side is Williams.
So Williams with a little bit more flash, but Rachi. Great adjustment getting his head under the leg. Yeah, it's just opportunistically, you know, a little bit of anticipation goes a long way. And if you know where you want to go and that works out, it's worth all the quickness. Another good shot by Williams. Rachi immediately on the counterattack. They're back into collar ties. This has been a buzzsaw of a match. Only two points so far with two minutes and 10 seconds to go in the second. This is college level pace though. It really is, two minutes left. Pace right now seems to favor, favor Rachi. He's gonna go on the clock though. That'll yeah. give Williams an opportunity to get a point if Rachi can't score. And that's gonna be an important point because any other point would give yeah. Williams the lead on criteria. That's maybe make it a one for the horse. We still have 20 seconds to go on that shot clock. Yeah. And uh, we've seen, unfortunately, uh, at the highest level, one point and just a few seconds uh, can happen to anybody. Good re-attack by Rachi. He's got a tight grip under the chin of Williams. Now he switches off to a single leg. Williams pressuring into him. I don't know if the clock expired. It was really close. It did. So, so a one and one, bang, one. bang, back and forth. So either two one-point scores or a two-point score, but either way, Williams needs a little bit more offense. Williams which, made a little bit of an adjustment with his leg elevated to stay in bounds for just a little bit longer, and man, he didn't beat the clock by much. Yeah, that's that's a split second savvy there, and maybe that's what it comes down to. Um, you know, a takedown would give him the lead on criteria, so man, if that's, if that's the difference maker, that is milliseconds and centimeters. Attack there, good defense by Rachi. Heavy hands on the head, there's good level change, although Rachi dives for that leg again, far ankle saving lives. Chest wrap, 35 seconds to go. Williams looking for a turn, he's wrapped up tight. Quick whistle, but that's what Williams needed, back to their feet, 28 seconds. Man, he's quick at those level changes. Really Rachi, is. though, undeterred. On, 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Another level change. Rachi was ready. He's back down on an ankle. 12 seconds. Crotch lock. Can Williams muscle it up here? Five seconds to go. Rachi looks at the clock. Close to a turn. Three, two, one. Oh, There's the turn offers, in the final two, two seconds. Run. They don't call him the Iceman for nothing. Jordan Williams gets it done. We may see a brick come in. And here it comes. Well, we're going to get another look at it. He definitely elevated the hips. The question, <laughs> our, our, uh, our commentary booth got stormed here by some we Jordan got, Williams yeah. fans. We had, uh, we had some guests. That's OK. Uh, you probably heard over the, uh, over the microphone. Man, Jordan Williams was pumped up for that too, did his backflips. He elevated it, they're gonna take a look. I definitely got the hips up, the question is gonna be the angle on the exposure. Yeah. And that, I mean, I guess you also have to look at the clock. It looked to me like it happened before time was up. So but we get it on the, on the big screen here. And we're gonna take a look. Eight seconds, seven seconds, five. Move really starts with three seconds on the Two. clock. I don't know. That, I believe. I, I don't know if he got the exposure. Well, they look at it frame by frame. I mean, it, it definitely Rachi flipped all the way over. Did he do it in time? Nope, they're gonna call it the exposure. Jordan Williams wins this tournament three times. How about it? I mean, gutsy performance. Uh, the two things were, were millimeters, were, were just slivers of time and space between defeat and victory.